Hey friends and welcome back to Violin Teacher YouTube channel. And this is a, a continuation of Wolfhart's uh, Opus 45, number book number one, and we're at number three. So this piece is in the key of G major, and the technical challenges that you will find in this is that you've got 16th notes which are a little bit more kind of just visually more overwhelming um, but don't don't panic you know just take it slow it's in 2-4 we're gonna go 1 E N a 2 E N a no big deal just do the notes um, and it's a little easier in the f in that you have F sharp so you don't have to play low 2 on the D that's good um, you do have to play low two on the A though, C natural, and you get to play regular one on E, no low, no one on E for F, for F uh, natural. You get to play F sharp. Now there are a lot of places where you have to leave fingers down that will help you place the four, for example. But I find this particular um, etude a lot more melodious than some that you may have played. So let's take it kind of slow and see what we get. One and two, and not too fast. Starts on a four out of midair. So a little, there's a couple sequential surprises in there where you might expect uh, a stepwise motion in the notes, in the note group, and you get all of a sudden, you know, he skips the note. So nothing too hard, um, but there are places where you need to be holding fingers down. So let's see if we can find some. Oh, and there's also, let's just really go through this kind of what I noticed. So you've got. Um, you have in the second measure watch that little string crossing if I started the if I did that without the fingers so it gives you a little flavor of that and then also it gives you um some arpeggiated chordal kind of you gotta watch for that stuff hold the one on and the two after you play it okay that's in the third or fourth measure first line and also um it occurs to me that as far as reading goes a lot of times you'll be in um 
the midst of playing something that's running like this and you can lose your focus a little bit. So I want to advise you that you just keep bringing your mind back to the music and looking at four note groups. You're playing a four notes, you're looking at the next four notes so that you can stay, you know, keep it flowing nicely. If you're playing this for a teacher, that's what they want. They want to see if you can do it without stopping. Okay, and um, let's see. Oh, there, and then let's look at, I'm just looking at this really quickly. Line three, where you play this part, second uh, measure. Hold the one while you're playing D3. See, you're coming right back to it, so hold it. Go two ones after you first play it. Then pick it up there. So this piece has the potential, number three has potential, to teach you really good left hand technique if you will uh, observe that very carefully. Make sure that you're doing that. Let me see, just uh, hold three while you play four. Watch that. Hold one. Somewhat like a G scale, isn't it? Then all of a sudden, skip a note. So in that one, in this one in particular, you, you do have a few surprises. But if you play through it, you'll, you know, a couple times, they're not a surprise anymore. Okay. In any of these etudes, if you do find a little tricky spot, circle it, stop, practice that spot over and over, use repetition, perfect it, then play that one with the four note group that comes before it. See if you can come into it and play it without stopping, then play within the phrase. And that's how you should fix up problem areas. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. See you next time.